Hello everybody, back again Saul here for another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. And last time we helped Medley get up there to go climb Dragon Roost Cavern. Uh, Prince Kamali wanted somebody to, uh, to listen to. Someone who could brave Dragon Roost Cavern to, uh, to listen to. So let's pick up some water in our bottle. But the chieftain wanted Kamali to listen to us, and he won't listen to us. So we... I guess we gotta go climb Dragon Roost now, so he'll listen to us. Hopefully we'll run into Medley on the way. So what we need to do in order to get up there is to, uh, throw this bomb. Can I make it up on top of the rock? Yeah, I can. Get wrecked. It's, that's a little that that throw is a little tricky sometimes because the bomb could fall off the side and land in the water. So you either want to make it on top of that rock or wait until the bomb flower is closer to blowing up and then throw it sort of blow up somewhere along the side as it's falling. But we got it first try. Nice. Next up here, we have some more bomb flowers. Oh, here's a little speedrunning trick we could try here. Oh, come on. Let's play a little game of basketball. There we go. Let's get our sword out. Let's see. A speedrunning trick is to hop over the lava and land on the ledge on the other side. Let's see if we could do it. Oh. <laughs> Might help if I hit the right button. It's B to, to jump, right? Like, to jump slash. Yeah, it is. Okay. Not A. My bad. Alright. And if you miss it, you can see it sets you all the way back to the beginning of this room. So, it's a pretty uh, risky speedrun trick. Yeah, didn't do it. I slashed too early. Alright. We're not going to try it anymore because... Uh, because then we'll just sit here, trying it forever. But... <laughs> you can see why I don't speedrun in this game anymore. <laughs> but, uh, let's go. Basketball game? Let's go. Safe strats. Hashtag safe strats. Alright. And let's go on in. How did Medley get over that lava pit? She didn't bomb those statues. Alright, here we are. Inside Dragoner's Cavern. I remember when this first... When the game first came out. They had a demo you could play of this in Walmart. And it was just this dungeon. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. Okay, let's get through here. And again, how did Mendeley get through here? Unless she closed it off behind her. But that's weird. Why would she do that? Alright, so here we have two Bokoblins. Hello. Ow! Two, three, spin attack, and kill him. That's weird. In this game, sometimes when you're L-targeting and hitting with your sword, sometimes you get this double hit off, and I don't know how exactly that happens. We gotta take this, light it. Why they had sticks on fire, I have no idea. But, uh, they did. Hey, stop it. Alright, we got the first small key of the dungeon, which we use right here on this door. What's in these pots? I don't think I've ever actually even like, searched through these pots for anything. Oh, it's a rupee. And I jumped all the way down. Cool, thanks. Alright. Let's go. I'm not sure how long this dungeon will take me. If it'll take me one episode or two episodes. Or if I'll, I'll just play through it all and cut it up later. I'm not sure. But we'll see. Our path is blocked. Thankfully we have a sword. Haha. -ha. Alright, we've reached the interior of this mountain. Which is apparently a volcano, not a mountain. Why a dragon would sit on top of a volcano, I have no idea, but, okay. 
Okay, so that door over on that side was locked, so we can't go that way yet. Hey, excuse you. Okay. Climb up. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Go away, please. Thanks. Oh no, Keys. Stop it. Go away. Actually, here. Um, oh man. I forgot there's like random rocks that fall everywhere. Hey, go away. I'm trying to explain something to my viewers. Um, there's a trick you could do with a tingle tuner in the original version. Um, involving these bombs and floating up all the way to that ledge up there. Because that's more towards the end of the dungeon way up there. Uh, it involves Link dying, so you have to die. You blow yourself up with a bomb because you have to land flat on your back. And in the middle of him getting up, because the the dying animation doesn't happen until Link gets back up. So if you time it right, you're able to do a jump slash animation. So this. You're able to do that in the middle of Link's standing back up animation. And if, if you mash the buttons fast enough, uh, you're able to do what's called a zombie hover because you're dead. It's called a zombie hover, but you just float all the way up there, but you have to mash the button a ridiculous amount of times. Uh, you're on YouTube right now watching this. Uh, go ahead and you can go ahead and look that up sometime. Not during this, after you finish this video. How about that? After you watch this and give it a like. But hey, we got the dungeon map. Okay, and we made obsidian to get over here. Yes, that's that's a thing. Okay. Uh. Oh. Go. Okay, let's climb up. And there's gonna be a red choo-choo waiting for us up here. Let's take a break here. Thanks. If you keep climbing, you'll be at the exact right position for it to smack you off the ladder. But if you wait a little bit, it'll miss you. Oh, hello. Oh no. Two, three, spin attack. Thanks. And we need this big thing to, uh. Oh, thanks. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Swim. Thank you. We need the bigger sword to. to break the, the bigger wooden planks that are across there. Uh. Go left? Oh. We need to go left. Where's the sword? Here we go. I shouldn't have thrown it. Oops. Um, hey. Go away. Throw it. Thanks. Red chew jelly, don't mind if I do. Hey. No. Go away. Choo choo, why? Give me something good. Oh, chew jelly. Well, I guess that's alright. Here we get another small key. Good. Excuse you. Don't get caught on the wall. Okay, so we don't have to use that. Oh, wait. Man, that was an awkward camera angle, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have an extra small key now. Because we haven't had to use it yet. Okay. Oh. Please. Oh. Come on, we have to hit these rocks. We gotta do it, Link. Do it. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah. Ow. That's actually slower too. Another speedrun uh speedrun tip. Hopping up like that wastes too much time. Instead, do this. I guess that wastes just about as much time. Never mind. It looked pretty slow, the jump slash. Typically you want to jump slash instead of climbing up ledges though. Alright. Uh, so we can't go this way yet. Okay. Give me all this good stuff. Is there something over here? A rupee. There we go. Okay. And there's smaller wooden planks here, so we can break those ourselves. Hey, Book Coblin. And sadly, this one only had a Deku stick. 
so we can't use a big sword to break these things down because this will just bounce off like our regular sword will do too. So whatever shall we do? Well, guess we're stuck here forever. Oh wait, no. We have fire. Hey. Burn. Burn. Okay. Get on the button. Can you? Okay. I'm more used to GameCube controls, to be honest. Uh, and it used to be A to throw the stick or whatever weapon you're holding. And now it's to swing it. So. Get wrecked. See ya. Oh man, how far is he gonna fall? All the way down. Oh man. I never actually looked at that. Okay, let's come up here. And there's gonna be a jet of lava that shoots out of here. Is it lava or is it fire? I guess it's just fire. If it was lava, it'd be liquid. Oh. New enemy. Here's the cargo rock. Hey! Go away! I hate fighting these things. Come here. They like fighting close to the edge. Get wrecked. Drop something good? Aha! We got a golden feather. That's another spoils bag thing. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Wind girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Hey, maybe we'll give one to Medley. Eh? Eh? Oh. Okay. So here we have to, uh, sidle. Sidle? Siddle? Whatever that word is. Along the wall. That way. Let's try a speedrunning trick, though, shall we? Let's remember what our jump slash button is. Oh, no, I missed. You can jump slash, and you can actually make that jump. But, apparently not me. Man, all the speedrunning tricks I'm trying in this game, I'm failing at. I'm a bad speedrunner, hi. Aw, oh, the cargo rock respawned. And they sound like sheep. Hey. <gasps> what? Cargo rock, please. You know what, there's some rocks right around there, right? Where we fight it. I'm just gonna throw a rock at it. Disclaimer, don't throw rocks at birds in real life. This is just video game. Yeah, there's some rocks here. Get wrecked. Hey, we got another golden feather, though. Okay. Let's go through the intended way, I guess. Okay, we're there. Nice. There's a big rock here with something behind it. It's clipping through. Okay, let's get our sword out. Cause there's another speedrunning trick here. You can, uh, let's L target. Side hop. Oh, come on. Give me a side hop. There we go. Nice. Got that one. You have to side hop and then jump slash and you don't have to inch your way across that thing. One speedrunning trick I didn't fail. Thank you. Alright. So we go in here. And the way through is that thing up there. So here's another example of just jump slashing. Okay. Let's grab this. Sorry if you don't like these little speedrun... Um, insights or tips or whatever. I don't know. Hey. Oh, hello. Hey. hey. Oh. Lark, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. So why don't you try it? There's no so there. And that was a terrible choral voice. Hey, excuse you, rat. Um, yeah, so what he's talking about is, remember that bait we bought way back when? 
we hey go away rat hey stop We've, if we sprinkle some right by their hole the rat will come out and eat it delicious should I give the rat a voice I don't know delicious no that's not a rat voice hey I got something real good to sell you for real I don't know I in my mind I read this as like a New York accent but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try a New York accent what'll it be for you so he'll sell us bait or he pears. So two different types of bait. Uh, sometimes they'll sell potions and stuff too, but I think we have to actually have potions before they'll sell us potions. Like we have to have unlocked potions in the game. What? Cheapskate. Bring me more sometime, more. Well, tell your friends to quit trying to steal my rupees. Okay. So I'm pulling these all the way out. I don't know, speed. Speed runs you only pull them out halfway, because you can get on them anyway. And it's faster. Alright. Let's, let's open this chest, hey. And inside it, we find... Hey, the compass. Nice. Okay. And we have no keys, and we need a key to get through this door. Oh, again, wrong button to try to throw the thing. Let's go. And in here is the key we need. Ba -bum. This is a pretty simple dungeon. Well, I guess it is the first dungeon. Technically, some people consider Forsaken Fortress 1 to be, um, to be the first dungeon. Whatever. Alright. Let's go up here. These stairs are broken. Thankfully, Link's got some hops. Okay, Cargo Rock. Come here. I need to lure you. Get wrecked. I, I guess I don't need to lure you. If I wanted your golden feather, then yeah, I guess I would have to have lured you. So I could have picked up your feather. But we got a small key. Because now it just dropped out of sight forever. Goodbye, golden feather. We got the key we need to get in here. And this is a dark, spooky room. Oh. Let's take a light with us. There's gonna be keys everywhere. Hello. Let's hurry up and light the things we need to light. Go. Hey, go away. Okay. So we lit the things. What's in this chest? A joy pendant. Hey. Good, because we're going to need a lot of them later on. But, okay. You know what, Keys? I'm leaving, because you all are annoying. I think one got hit by a falling rock. That's hilarious. Hey. Ah. Is there a bomb? There's a bomb here. And... We uncovered the pot. And what these pots do, they're in every dungeon. So these pots... Uh... You can teleport through the dungeon. Uh, through these pots. So it goes green to blue. Interesting. This game does a circle fade in, fade out thing for the pots. In the GameCube version, it would do this like blur filter over it. But, um, I never noticed that detail before. But it goes green, blue, yellow. The last one's yellow. The last one in every dungeon. And it's usually right by the, uh, the boss room. Go. Hey, is there anything else we could do in this room? It seems pretty empty. I guess it's just for the pot, to give you a peaceful spawn for the pot. Alright, the door closes behind us. Oh no. Two, three. Go. So the door locks behind us, and the door up there is locked the way we need to go. Uh, 
What you need to do is find other book goblins in this room to kill. There's one here. And the other one is over there, I think, on that wooden plank thing. First, let's light this. And it'll spawn a chest in. Go. And what's in here? A treasure chart. Hey. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think he's in that pot. Maybe. Nope. Okay, maybe in that other one here. Maybe. Unless he's up on the second floor. Nope. No, there he is. Hey. Get wrecked. How dare you get the higher ground on me. Give me that heart. Thank you. Okay. Another little speedrun strat here. Get on this table. And you start higher up on the ladder. It's just little little things. Oh god, my dog's barking. Uh, BRB. Alright. I am back. Uh, my dog's barking because people are setting off fireworks, even though it's not even the 4th of July anymore. Come on, people. But uh, I guess it's a good thing he started barking because that made me realize we're out of time for this episode. I was too into the dungeon to realize. But uh, yeah. So let's go back over here where we're not in danger from that enemy. But uh, yeah. So we're out of time. So that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.